Good morning, everybody. Good morning from the tiny house of rock in beautiful and historic Old Hickory Village right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm going to do something that in six, seven years of doing this, I've never done. And that is I'm taking the trash out in an absolute downpour. I, I got snow umbrella. I don't have a free hand. It just is what it is. But here's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I was thinking about this. You know, I've been taking my trash out doing this. I seriously have lost count. I don't know how many years it's been. And I talked to you guys about life. But let me ask you something. For some of you guys, taking the trash out is a, a, probably something that you need to do and maybe you haven't done. Now, here's what I mean. Some of you guys, some of you folks, some of you men, some of you ladies, no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, some of you guys have got some trash in your head. And I mean, I'm talking stinking thinking. I'm talking the things that drive you down. Sometimes when your brain can't get out of your way. I'm talking about anxiety. I'm talking about depression. I'm talking about thoughts that just get in your way. Things that make it hard for you to get through your day. I'm talking about trash that's sitting around in your brain, whether it's memories or whether it's things you need to sort out or just things you tell yourself. Hey, let me tell you something. Even healthy people, healthy people need to take the trash out every now and then. You need to take the trash out every now and then. You need to empty your head of all these things. And sometimes maybe you don't know what it is that's got you down. Maybe you don't know what it is that's in your way. Maybe you're overthinking things. Maybe you've got just some demons you can't seem to shake. But let me tell you something. We're not meant to go through this life alone. Now, God put everything in you you need to not just survive, but to thrive. But it doesn't mean that you have to go it alone. All right? Reach out. If you need help, if you feel like you just need to talk to somebody, reach out to somebody. Now is not the time to be full of pride if you're dealing with stuff in here and in here that you can't seem to get out. Even healthy people seek counsel of others, professionals, or even just sometimes a good friend. There's been a lot going on the past year, and a lot of us have turned inward because we've been stuck in our houses and things like that. We're out, now it's time for you to get out. And if you've got some trash that you need to get out of your head, if you've got some things you need to talk about, please find somebody to talk to. If you're not sure who to talk to, whether you're watching this on LinkedIn, YouTube, or on Facebook, message me. I'll help you find somebody. And if I can help, I will help. I mean, if you need to talk to somebody, and I'm telling you, what I've discovered here in just recent weeks is that a lot of us are still carrying around a lot of junk up in here. Well, it's time to take that out. It's time to take that out. There's a lot of life left to live, no matter whether you're, no matter whether you're young or old, you've still got a lot of life left to live. And believe me, when I tell you, God did not put you on this planet to go through life alone. There's a, there's a part in all of us. First of all, there's a God-shaped hole in everybody's heart, okay? That's, that's first and foremost. But a lot of times, though the Lord could reach down and touch you and make everything better, he won't. But you know what? He put the people around you who can. He put the people around you who can. That's why we're called to be the hands and feet of God and love on people right where they're at. So share your hurt. Somebody wants to share your hurt with you. Somebody wants to help you walk through that. Somebody wants you to help you walk through that. So if you need help, ask for help. Take out your trash. Don't let it sit up in here. It's only going to get in the way. There you go. I done got my preach on on a Wednesday morning. There we go. So over here from the tiny house of rock in Old Hickory Village, do not forget that I love you. God loves you. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, take out your trash. Peace.